is the Bill Squire Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to this week's episode of the Bill Squire Show. I am your host, Bill Squire, and we got the team here, the podcast winning team, Tommy hey. LC. Hello. And Pants. The chief returns. I am totally a cop today. Yeah, we're all being cops. The police yeah. department. Mm-hmm. We're all cops. Mm. And we have a special guest, the winner of Cleveland Scene's Best Male Comedian Award, Martin Malloy. So hello, hello, hello. Hey, good Yay, job. Welcome. Congrats, Martin. C- good job, buddy. We're really, really proud of you. Uh, I've known Marty for almost 20 years now. Uh, we we met about 19 years ago, and it'll be November is when you first started doing comedy in November 2004. I did a uh, showcase at the Cleveland Improv. It took me two auditions before I got the spot. <gasps> nice. Yeah. And then yeah, he's he's been funny ever since. He's always, I mean, he was funny right off the bat, but they always kind of made you wait one out. Yeah. Uh, just is that, is that common? I don't, think they have ever, yeah. I don't think they've ever put anyone up after one audition ever. Uh, no, I don't think so. But it was, I think you also went the night that they were having it. So like they kind of had it already booked. Yeah. So then you came to the next one the next month. And uh, those were a lot of fun. I remember, so when I met Marty, uh, he was just as charismatic as he is right now. And very. (laughs) (laughs) And we all went to lunch afterwards and he was sitting right across from me. And uh, I'll be honest, I was bullying him a little bit. Because he needed it. (laughs) He needed to be toughened up to get it. No, we we were just we were just very confused by him because he was so Marty's very direct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so uh, he just was Go like just telling kind of his life story uh, about you know all the things that have happened to him, like getting hit by a car. Yeah, I got hit by a car in uh, 1990, June 1990. <gasps> what uh, was the I date? remember seeing the f- July 4th fireworks outside the hold hospital. On, hold on, hold on, Marty. Know. Listen, yeah, what was the date? June what? Do you know? June 30th. I think oh, okay. It was. My birthday's June 10th, 1990. So. It's Whoa, correlation, it would have been kind of funny. Uh, a car crazy. hit a car in our back lot at the fraternity, and then they had to go around a one way street to get away. And I walked, everyone yelled Marty because I was in charge of security. And uh, so I jumped, I went in front of the car, and it was speeding at me, and I didn't move. And oh. I jumped up at the last minute and rolled and hit the windshield, did a flip up in the air. And uh, hit my head on the ground. Oh, that's right. You didn't land on <laughs> no, your feet. No, you did not. You, no, yeah. I hit your that head on the ground. That would awesome if I landed on my feet. <laughs> yeah, that would wow. be very John Wick of you. Do you, yeah, remember, yeah, John what, Wick. Do you remember what kind of car it was? No, I have no idea. And uh, they never caught the person, but I collected $50,000 on my uninsured motorist policy. All right. You well, you know. And then what'd you, you do with something? that? Silver I, linings I, and whatnot. I, I, I used it to fund my business of putting posters up on college campuses for several years. Okay. And then uh, once, because you you've come into a large sum of money on several a few... times. My parents died and left me fifty thousand dollars. And then what'd you do with that money? I spent it gambling. <laughs> <laughs> and then I won fifty thousand dollars in lottery tickets. And then and I you spent do it? that on lottery tickets. Oh. <laughs> I bought a car for two thousand dollars, but I also spent most of it on lottery tickets. <laughs> Did that was that car also repossessed? No, I sold it to Tim Cornette because I couldn't oh, afford the insurance. That's right. Okay. Yeah. And that's where my dummy Tom was the the black dummy that I used to do comedy with was in the was in the in the car. So I I lost it to Tim Cornette. No. Oh. Well, that's probably for the best. Uh, yeah, that was pretty bad. So you. You're doing- <laughs> You're due to come up on another fifty thou here pretty soon. I'm, I like am due. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about like it's like Haley's comment. Like it's coming back around. I have a feeling. I have my eye on a. Um, Tell you uh, what, hey Marty. Here's yeah. what we'll do. If I sell out the Agora show, and then we add five more shows, yeah, I might clear enough money to pay you fifty thousand dollars. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Time to pound the pavement yeah, we, there, Marty. We gotta, uh, I, I, I will get on that tonight. As soon as I get to my phone, I will post. Uh, I'll, I'll go to your page and re reshare something that you have on your page. Okay. Are you bullying him into supporting us right now? 
Yes. I'm <laughs> I'm trying to get him fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, this seems this seems like a fair deal. This is pretty aggressive, like, but it seems fair. I'm saving up to buy a house. It's gonna take me like ten years. I just filed bankruptcy. Oh. <laughs> I, well, I had to... How many times have you filed bankruptcy? <laughs> so this is the second time. I had, uh, in how many years? That was the last one was in two thousand. Well, okay. Mar- Mar- Marty, I follow you on socials. I follow your credit score journey. It seems yeah. like you're on. The, it's on the up and up. It's at six ninety eight now, but it just went down eleven points because I have six, a lot of my credit. There's a lot of people score. that would kill to have a credit score of six eighty seven. Yeah. yeah. So you're doing all right. You know, uh, I can't even get them to talk about their, their credit score. Yeah, you, you're, you're making yeah. Bill's day right now. Yeah. Talking about credit yeah. scores yeah. right now. Is I'll yours good, Bill? This. Mine's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's good. <laughs> Mine's higher than yours, which is. Well, I'm gonna wait good. till after my bankruptcy's off the record in ten years to buy a house. That, that's yeah, a good call. Yeah, the market a lot should of time cool to off by then. Yeah, that's a lot of time to save money. Yeah. So if you if we accomplish this, we might we might need ten shows. Okay. Because uh, I'm just trying to do some some quick math. So if we sell out ten shows at the Agora, uh, that's a, about ten thousand people. So we should definitely be able to get you. 50,000 off of that. And I want to announce I'm going to have probably uh, <laughs> over Wait, two was... minutes of new comedy by the time the <laughs> December 22nd runs around because I've been writing about a minute every two months. Uh, nice. For people that haven't seen Marty's work, that's a shit ton of jokes because Marty is a rapid fire. Yeah, one, he's fast. He's I love one that. Line yeah, art, he's one liner <laughs> artist. Very, very funny, very quick. Uh, very, very great jokes. Um, I, I got to, I'm getting a. Uh, um, uh, merch for my my uh, anti bullying joke. Can I tell my anti bullying joke? You want to tell it right now? Yeah, Let yeah, go for it. As you can see, I'm wearing an anti bullying wristband. I support the cause. I didn't buy it. I took it from some ginger kid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting that on 1,200 wristbands. All right. And how much are you going to charge for those? <laughs> Whatever you want to pay. I'm saving In, up to buy a house far away from the ginger. <laughs> let's, let's, let's so you're gonna you're gonna get well. Well, you got 10 years now to do it. So you got 10 years to sell 1,200 wristbands. Uh, oh, I'm gonna go through more wristbands than that in ten years. I'd sure. hope so. I'd hope so. Here, Marty, uh, let me let me let me help you out here and be one of my people real quick. Five thousand dollars, fifty thousand divided by twelve hundred. You said. Yeah. So what do I charge for them? Forty one dollars and sixty seven cents <laughs> a piece. Okay. That's fair. Limited edition. <laughs> yeah. Limited edition. I think yeah. we could pull this off. Let's 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 yeah. just round it up to. But 50. you also got stickers and stuff too. So yeah, you got lots stickers. Of things. Yeah. Uh, uh, but we'll get to all the plugs. Uh, so you're gonna be opening for me at the the Agora on December twenty second, where I'm filming my special. We're gonna yeah, film you that night it. too. Uh, and uh, I meant to do it last year when you opened for me when I did uh, Pure BS. But the guy that filmed that special uh, didn't uh, give me the footage, and I'm not happy about that. Oh boy! But, uh, yeah, it happens. He was. Uh, I mean, it's not. Can like we I'm get a hold of him? Can we get his address? No, I know who he is. He oh. deleted it. Like I was like, oh, oh. Like, yeah. delete it because he was. He needed storage. And did, so, did you oh, not? Geez. Did you not pay this person to Dude. capture this content? Dude, I, 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 Do you not want to talk about it? Yeah. All right, let's, let's move on. It was an accident. He felt really bad about it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I thought he was like, I thought he was that's holding it okay. hostage on you. Yeah. Yeah. No, like, no, 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 no. It was just, a, he, he made a whoopsie. And oh. was, all right. Uh, so, Marty, uh, over the years, we've done some some fun uh, shows together. Yeah. Do you remember uh, when we went to New York the first time? Yeah. Can you tell everybody a little bit about our trip I, to New York City? For I was on Opie and Anthony uh, for a sh- uh, contest called American Mess. If your life is uh, miserable, you you got on the show. We convinced them that over the phone. And they told us to come, and uh, I lost to a guy with a deformed head. But uh, what was uh, his credit score? I don't know. And uh, anyway, I my, the reason I was on it was because I I I won fifty thousand in the lottery and spent it all on lottery tickets. Plus, I'm just a mess. Yeah, American mess. So, do you remember? So, the, the we we went to New York. Master Poe was terrifying. Uh, I forgot about Master Poe. Jeez, uh, we went in to to the XM Studios at the time, and we got there super early in the morning. Like drove through the night. This is I'm I'm probably 23 at the time, 24. This I think it's 2006 or seven. Yeah, probably 2007. I think. Because uh, I had just moved into my Tremont apartment. So we go out there, and when we get to the city, like, I park my car. I don't know anything. Like, I'd been to New York City one other time and didn't really, like, so I I just found a place to park, and we took the subway to where we were supposed to be. And uh, 
we uh <laughs> Marty was uh you know, he's he's a he's a kind man and the homeless people in New York are aggressive. So we were going into like a Dunkin' Donuts to get some coffee and and donuts and stuff like that, just a little little food. And this dude asked Marty for money, and Marty just like stops. And I'm like, Marty, don't give him any money. Let's go. And he's like, Hey, man, you don't fucking talk for this guy. He speaks for himself. Do you remember that? Yeah. And we all, he almost got us beat up. Yeah. Yeah. But we uh. Did- yeah. We survived that. We survived, yeah. We did, went he, did he? Did you guys pay I was money? looking in my no. pocket for a dollar, but all I had was $100 bills because I just uh, got my student loans for $8,000. <laughs> exactly. So I'm like, I didn't want him to pull out a wad of $100 yeah. bills. <laughs> and then uh, I spent it on gambling when I got home. Uh, financial yeah. history is yeah. fucking hilarious. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Place, I got lots of money. I, I've, I've got, I got probably over $200,000 in student loan extra money to spend and I spent it all on gambling. <laughs> I, mean, I quit gambling this season because I lost on betting the Bengals against the Browns and the Bills when they lost. So anyway, we go into Opie and Anthony. I wasn't done with this story. <laughs> and Bill Burr's there. Like it's like Bill, before Bill Burr blew up. It's before he even did the uh, Philly rant. Mm-hmm. So, but he was sitting there and like, I'm, you know, I knew him a little bit because he had come through Cleveland and I knew like he was friends with like Jason Lawhead and all these other uh, Cleveland Comics, Joe Howard. And so we were talking about hilarities and stuff like that. And uh, Bill Burr goes on. He, he, they talk about the movie Grizzly Man. And then they bring Marty in. And they are... They tried to get me to kill myself, basically. They, they were fucking with him a they lot. Were acting, they yeah. kept acting like I had just got there and that I didn't say anything yet. Yeah. And they would repeat everything in a circle. Yeah. And I was about to call the mental hospital. <laughs> yeah. But I... It, and I was actually nervous. I was like, Marty, were you okay? Because they like they had one guy dress up in like a beekeeper outfit. And they pretended and then, they couldn't see him. Yeah. And then oh. there was another guy like crawling under and like grabbing his feet. And uh, it was pretty mean overall. But Marty played it really funny. Like he was absolutely hilarious doing it. And when we were leaving, I was like, Marty, are you actually on the verge of having a mental breakdown and he like shot me give me your give me your smile at the at the camera over here <laughs> <laughs> he shot me that smile and i was like okay he was, good. he was fucking with him right back yeah. and he was selling it and it was it was very funny i mean funny. you knew you, you you knew what the deal was with opie and anthony i didn't know like, i didn't oh, know yeah, no i wasn't idea. a fan of opie and anthony bill turned me on to them yeah that was like in the and that was like in the heat of like the shock jock wars and yeah stuff especially everybody. well that was like when they were well, new on xm and they were like Howard Stern had just gone to Sirius and it hadn't merged yet. Oh, that's right. So they right. were really trying to like do whatever wild shit they could. Right, right. Yeah. I was first asked yeah. to be on the Howard Stern show because I was uh, schizophrenic voices in my head gave me winning stock picks. Yeah. <laughs> I was number 12 in the winning. Yahoo Investment Challenge. And uh, I got banned from Morgan Stanley, Dean Winter for insider trading. Really, I was getting the picks from some guy that would give me the pick. I made a several thousand dollars. And he'd give me the pick and it would there'd be a news announcement the next day. And I had already had the stock bought, and it would double, and, like uh, from three to six. What'd you do with that money? I spent it gambling. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, so then, here. like over the years, we've done a ton of stand up together. And then uh, one time after a show, he made a ton of money in merch, and I was like, "Hey, you made good." Like the next time I saw him, like you made good money the other night. Uh, what'd you do with it? And What'd you do with that money? I probably gambled it. Yeah. <laughs> so then I was like, what are we going to do now? Uh, he Bill convinced me to get myself banned from the casino. So what, what's, what's your game? Do you have one specific game you like to gamble I, with? I bet on football. And That's uh, what you were doing. But at, what, when but you were... Go- I was playing lottery scratch-offs and casino blackjack most of the time. Back okay. Then. Yeah. Very okay. compulsive with that. And so, yeah, you, you'd go to the casino and play blackjack. And lose all the money that you'd make during. I won five hundred dollars in a comedy uh, contest. It's hilarities. That's how Sam first saw me there, mm. and uh, uh, I, uh, I I I took it rem- immediately to the casino and lost it. That's that, that's that's how those places definitely work. But yeah, you know. So if I pay you this fifty thousand for selling, uh, if we sell ten shows, but I'm going to pay you well regardless. Can you promise me you're not going to gamble the money? Yes, I promise. I stopped gambling. I, 100%? Are you gonna... I haven't gambled in forever. 
When's the last define time? You just said you were, yeah, define you just, that. Yeah, yeah, you just said you gambled like two weeks ago. That was football. That's not gambling. You get a 50% <laughs> chance when you gamble with football. Different thing it's, altogether, it's Bill. Of, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's the odds of uh, everything is 50% win or lose. FanDuel, completely different thing. Man. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Oh. Um I would like you to not gamble it on football either. Okay. I like that, like, there's this TikTok thing going on right now, girl math. Yeah. Have you seen yes. that? No. There's, yes. there's got to be Marty math going on right yeah. now. Yeah. Marty, money Marty you, math. You, oh, my God. I love money. Marty math. <laughs> Marty math. Start, you just spend start it. with 50000 <laughs> End up with zero. Yeah, how do we end up with zero? <laughs> and then file for bankruptcy, <laughs> but have a 689 credit score. <laughs> They're like, Some, yeah. Dude, you figure out that math, motherfucker, because that shit is wild. Like that, to have that credit score with that history of money and being uh, filing for bankruptcy is just insane. When's the last time you got fifty thousand, Marty? Uh, probably lottery probably ticket, right? Parents died. So no, I think it was, was it was a lottery ticket. Two thousand one. Oh, no, it was a lottery ticket. Two thousand two thousand five. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're due. Eighteen yeah. years. No, after after that, I'll student <laughs> loans in like two thousand. Uh, 16. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Wow. So, like, presidential elections, you're definitely, 2024 yeah. is That's coming. That's fine. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Next year. Marty. I'll be around. I'll be around to uh, help you gamble, Marty. And uh, I, I, uh, I got a disability discharge of my student loans. Then I got a letter from my doctor saying I'm capable of substantial gainful activity, so I get more student loans. So I got more student loans, and I uh, got those on disability discharge, too. I was you went to the University of uh, Blackjack? No. <laughs> did you ever actually go? The serious question: Did you ever actually go to school with these loans? Yes, I did. Okay, I had to to get the money. Right, yeah. right, or right. They would, if you, if you, if you, what I would do is, if I thought I was going to fail the class, I would get a, I would uh, drop it, and then I would get a disability uh, uh, drop, and they would pay me. They would give me. They, they I'd be able to still get more student loans. So, uh, do you have to pay back? I, these I love loans? America. Oh, I, love I love America so, so much. much. Yeah. I don't have to pay back. Oh, I love this. Yeah. I love it. Scheming up. All right. Yeah, I'm, very, let's, I'm very happy. Scheme for you, us Marty. some student loan money, man. We'll, like, no, I'm yeah. not going back to school. I can't stand it. It's really tough. No more pencils. Right. No more. We're books. not doing it so you can do school. We're doing it so we can get a bunch of student loan money. Yeah, we're trying to build a media no, empire yeah, here I'm off your off your student it. loan money. I can't go back to school. It Marty, me crazy. Marty, I'm seeing a pattern for me. You're already <laughs> crazy. You're a master <laughs> gambler. It's just not at anything you gamble on. You're a master gambler at student loans. Yeah, <laughs> that's your game. That's your game, that's baby. Table you pull up to, and you you're the person that doesn't have to pay them back. So it's it's win win. I'll consider yeah. it, and I w- I would have to go for more social work classes. All right, I'll, I'll allow it. We'll 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 help you do your homework or whatever. We'll figure I already it pay out. some girl to do my papers. This sounds like OnlyFans. Lead up here, <laughs> is what this Did like. you know Tommy has an OnlyFans? No, I didn't know that. <laughs> I do. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What do you do on there? Like sex stuff? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. geez. all of the sex stuff. Yeah. <laughs> When's the last time you had sex? Not you, Tommy. I know, not me. I was like, I don't think you're asking me. Uh, uh, 2005. With who? I'm not going to say. I used to work with her. Why do I feel like I have it right after you got the 50000 Right. (laughs) Yeah, how much Uh, of the 50000 did she get? I loaned her $5,000 and she paid me back. Oh, that's nice. She did? Yeah. All right. Oh, that's nice. Good, good. Do you subscribe to anybody on OnlyFans? No, I don't even know how to do it. I- I'll look up Tommy. So if she's possible. got stuff on Twitter. Yeah, you if you're trying to, I do too. Yeah, Twitter. If you're trying to drive that credit score into bankruptcy numbers, I would recommend you take that route. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If you're trying let's, to, let's, you don't have your phone with avenue. you. No, I don't have my phone with me. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, you could look up Tommy on uh, on, on uh, Twitter and you could see your boobs. My boobs are your there boobs too. are on Twitter. Yeah. Yeah, is it allowed on Twitter? Uh-huh. Oh yeah. Anything goes on. You Twitter. You can see a lot on Twitter. Oh geez. Still yeah. my favorite. It's my favorite website. It is. So you must have like a million people following you. Or no, something. I wish. I How wish. She deserves it. I but need she it, but no. Uh, you have like a hundred thousand? No, like ten thousand. Oh, for those boobs, like that'd be great. I mean, right? I mean, you're in a long sleeve. What? Thank you. Thank you. For those boobs. Those you know are 10K I need boobs. I Marty to be my spokesperson for me. I tried Nothing becoming- sells a product like a schizophrenic staring at you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I tried becoming an unofficial spokesperson for RC Cola because I really like RC Cola. And um, um, I was going to hopefully have them pay me to stop. 
That was all. <laughs> <laughs> they found out how bad you were at gambling. They're like, yeah. just go away. Here's $30,000. Uh, Marty, when's the last time you saw boobs in real life? I had a strip club. When? 2019. Okay, all right. Which strip club? Um, In the flats. Well, which so one? That, I'm not sure which one it was. was it, there, the, there's three. There's Diamonds, there's Christie's, and there's Hustler. I think it was Hustler. Okay. The one that looks like a food court inside, like booths and stuff. I don't remember. Yeah. A food court? <laughs> it looks like a food Does court really? with a giant pole I haven't in the middle. Yeah, you're kinda, you're, yeah, that's and cool. they have food, too, so it's yeah. not completely. Well, yeah. let's tell about the show. It's December 22nd. And what time <laughs> what are you fucking <laughs> horned up? <laughs> <laughs> what, what time is the show? 8 p.m. <laughs> What? I know where the after party is going to be. Get tickets. <laughs> you go to agoracleveland.com or billsquire.com and there's links. After party of Hustler. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think we're doing after party of Old 86. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm joking. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're definitely going to have that his bar, up. Old 86. Where's Old 86? It's over on 53rd in Detroit. Do you own it? Yep. Own part of it. Yep. It's the best bar. There's so many best titty pics on the wall, too, yeah, in tippets, the bathroom. Yeah. There's boobs. You can, you can see his bathroom bar. Nope, bar bathroom pictures on Twitter. Okay. Yeah. Just go follow her at Tommy L C. Yep. Yeah. And you'll we'll be friends. Tommy L C. Yep. I'm sorry we do not T O M M Y L C I one. T O M M I I L C. I L C. Yes. So not a Y. T O M M I L C. Yep. Okay. We don't and we don't serve R C Cola. Yeah, that's her Twitter and it's her Instagram. And everything. But you can see Boobs like naked boobs on, on, Twitter. on Twitter. I can confirm that. Mm-hmm. Can, well, yes, can. Uh, I'm not showing my boobs, but you can see me at facebook.com slash very funny comedy. There you go. On Facebook? Yeah. Look at him okay. sticking I'll the landing. And my I'm website is verryfunnycomedy.com, which Ooh. is. And what do people see on there? Your butthole? <laughs> no, they can't see that. Uh, you should put your butthole on your website. Just it's start. like an Easter egg. Like, like put a like hidden link. We'll take a butthole picture right now. No. Tommy's good at those. Veryfunnybutthole.com. <laughs> I wonder if that's taken. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to godaddy.com after this. We're going to fucking lock How that How many one websites down. have you purchased over the years? Uh, the last one I purchased is I I haven't gotten around to it, but uh, I pitched I pictured I pit, I got a uh, Cleveland no Cleveland slash dash notary dot com because <laughs> I wanted to make money doing notary public stuff because I used to be a notary public. Mm. But I don't want to take the test. I hate taking tests. <laughs> you really have a lot of obstacles in your life, don't you? Yeah, I do. Yeah, it's mostly. So you're you're your own worst enemy. Yeah. If you could just get out of your own way, you'd be making money hand over fist, and then you'd be losing it already. Yeah. Yeah. What's more fun to you, like making the money or losing it? Because you like gambling, so you making like the rush, the money. making the money. Then why don't you but keep the rush it? of gambling, like you lose the money. You know? What's the most you've ever made gambling, like at like a casino? Probably a thousand dollars. Bro, you have not had good luck at the casino. No, I won. I've won uh, uh, two two different. Uh, um, slot machines for over two grand. Okay, well there you go. That's... But lost it. Yeah. Right. Same I night. Eventually lost. Yeah. Oh, eventually. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. But now you can't even go in there anymore. Yeah, I can't. Go Wait, there. so you really banned? What did you he, do? He I banned, banned myself. What yeah. did? Oh, oh, oh! oh just, I, like, see, I see. I see. Go, I thought you were saying he did something to get banned. No, no. I he was like, he what banned what himself so he wouldn't did? go and get Thanks to Bill yes. telling you to, which saved me lots of money. I, yeah. you know what? That's a good. I, now, that's a good I, friend. I probably wouldn't have a, a an apartment if it weren't for Bill. Aww, oh, that's a good mm. friend. I, well, I love Marty, and I want him to uh, make good choices. Make good choices, and and it, you know, I wasn't. Forcing him. I actually remember the night that we uh, had this discussion because it was me, you, and Curtis Cook was in my car. And me and Curtis, like, we're having a good time and stuff like that. And then I started talking to Marty about the money that he's losing. And then Curtis, like, saw me, like, kind of go into dad mode. And he's like, oh, that was actually, like, really heartwarming the way you <laughs> care about Marty. And I do care about Marty. Marty's, uh, we've been through a lot together. So I always want to make sure he's, uh, you know, Taken care of. That's what friends are for. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. The, the 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 only winning I've had recently in was football. All my small bets, my free bets that I got, I won all of them because this uh, trans comedian gave me uh, uh, tips, and I I I I bet on all their winning bets. That's nice. What would you rather have? Uh, Fifty dollars or see Tommy's boobs. 
See Tommy's boobs. It's only ten dollars on OnlyFans. Shut For both up. Of them. You're not gonna make money either. <laughs> <laughs> you get to see both of them for ten dollars a month. Uh, Some other stuff too. And he was gonna get fifty dollars. Nate was gonna have to give me fifty dollars. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm selling merch. Oh, yeah. I'm no, selling yeah, merch yeah, yeah, tonight, yeah. so I might make fifty dollars. Oh. oh, okay. So but I only need ten. But you only need ten. And I was gonna say, like, but you'd rather see Tommy's boobs than have fifty. Sorry, yeah, yeah. I was mixing. Yeah, yeah I would what rather I have getting see rid Tommy's of it. boobs than have. Right. Well, you can see him for free on Twitter, and you can subscribe to our OnlyFans. You can learn how to do that. You're a savvy guy. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, yeah. Tr- I'll see what I can do. Uh, I'll send you a walkthrough. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> do you do any oh, like, feet stuff or weird stuff for weird people? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do that stuff mm-hmm. too? Yeah. Do There's definitely feet people. Do people do weird stuff? Oh, yeah. Oh jeez! Yeah, but you don't like put that stuff on your timeline, like. like... Let, let me tell my let me tell my strip club joke. Go ahead, okay. please do. I've never um, been a dancer, but go ahead. I know I'm getting old because when I go to a strip club, I used to say, "Who's your daddy?" Now I say, "Where's your father?" and put on some clothes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do your. Uh... <laughs> yeah do 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 one more joke. What's your favorite joke that you've ever written? Oh, it's my uh, jumping off the bridge joke. Yeah, do that one. That one's great. There's a lot of awkward moments when you're schizophrenic, like when you jump off a bridge to kill yourself and Hold just on, wait, break wait, your wait, legs. Wait, 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 wait. This is something I want to work on with you. You talk too fast. Talk so fast. You got to slow down. Okay, I'll slow All right, down. Let's slow way down. Okay? There's a lot of awkward moments when you're schizophrenic, like when you jump off a bridge to kill yourself and just break your legs. It's awkward when you have to call a cab and try and explain why you only need a ride to the top of the bridge. (laughs) (laughs) Does that feel better than just rushing through it? Because you you, you get excited, and this is something that happens when you're on stage, is you start motor-mouthing, and you you chew your words up, and it it doesn't hit as hard. So you want to make sure uh, you focus on that. I'm working on that. I know. I'm working on that tonight. Okay, where are you? you, uh, I'm at... at, um, Spotlight Cleveland. Spotlight tonight, tonight. but uh, but then you got uh, your headlining show for the Cleveland Comedy. At November eighth, I don't know what time at Seventy Eight Street Studios at Pin at Super Electric Pinball Shop. In, okay, in Seventy Eight Street Studios on November eighth. That's exciting for the Cleveland Comedy Festival. My name is the top name on there. I know, I saw that. Nice, very cool, well deserved. Yeah, I mean he's the Cleveland scene's best comedian. Yeah. Uh, John Armstrong, I saw must be headlining a show because his name was big too. I think he is. Yeah. Um, so Marty, who would I thought John Armstrong should have came in third in that best local comedian? I agree, but you know, it's it's not that big a deal. All right, bud, uh, we love you. Thank you for coming right, on. Thanks a lot. Marty, we love you. Thank you so much. <laughs> let me see my clubs on in my car. Let me, let me, let me wrap up this segment and okay. do another plug. <laughs> You just, that's oh, the thing so okay. when he he came on uh the alan cox show one time and we're like okay bye marty and like just zoomed out <laughs> <laughs> like he just he I was just like, I was like, all right he's got he's to make his show yeah. I, guess. I always have to check to see if the club's on in my car i'm all right but you <laughs> I forget it sometimes okay but we'll we'll get there but we're just trying to wrap up the segment okay and don't don't run off i'll i'll say goodbye and then you can <laughs> okay yeah uh, Marty is going to be opening for me at the Agora on December 22nd. You get tickets. Uh, how about this? If if uh, the show sells out, can Marty see your boobs? Yes. Oh, yes. Wow. Yes. yes. For, yes. Huge stakes here. Yep. Yeah. I'll even send you. Please go. I'll even send I you. I will pay you to go. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> well, how, much you, how much are you going to pay you? Uh, like, so let's talk about it. Polaroid, too. I'll give okay. you a Polaroid. You'll get a Polaroid. Oh. Yep. So if you're not doing it for me and you're not doing it for comedy, do it so Marty sell can out. see yeah. uh, Tommy's boobs. Did you hear how excited he was? You want to sell it out. I was, yeah. I'm excited for him. I know, I'm excited right. for him, too. I knew. I... <laughs> <laughs> this is just fucking the best. Tommy LC. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> With an eye. <laughs> I'll, I'll follow you right after, so you, it'll get in your notifications. Okay, yeah. thanks. All right. You're welcome. Thank you. Goodbye, Marty. All right, Bye. <laughs> Bye, Marty. We love you. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. (laughs) Bye. We didn't get a picture. Oh, wait, Marty. Marty. (laughs) What a guy, what a guy. I love him so much. (laughs) I've met him so many times. Yeah. Got to add the the parental advisory sticker to the corner of that one. (laughs) Just make it an album cover. (laughs)
Uh, I actually needed that. That's good. Yeah, that was but good. That was a good. That was a good, a good so first sweet. half. <laughs> yeah, he is. Marty's the best. He's he the is. best, and he just he, like the way he gets so like to the point on things is my favorite thing. I love like, it. The, and I would like. I would never like. I was not about to jump in on you coaching him up with his the pace of his joke telling, yeah. but there is a certain thing that makes it funny when he's racing to get to the end of a joke. Yeah, where like I know that's not proper comedy. Yeah, but dude, well, it's something. I, it is. It, <laughs> it is, is funny, char- but it's yeah. also like like I want. I'm, I'm trying to coach him up because at the taping, I want this stuff to be usable. Sure. And if he's racing through it, it's going to be really No, you tough. can't. Yeah. You can't. If he, yeah, you so. know, he, you can't have him doing 15 minutes of just. Yeah, it's yeah. like he's like <laughs> stomping yeah. over his own words. Right. Not one or, once or twice. It is funny, though. <laughs> right. It is. It's uh, exciting. Nice. I love it. Um, so we had a fun night on uh, Saturday. Well, we have, we've had a lot happen. Pants is single again. Uh, <laughs> Let me check my phone real quick. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, God. And uh, we all got, uh, uh, we did a tarot card reading at Old Lady Six the other night. And we're going to kind of go through what uh, uh, the, what do, you, what do you call that? Is she a psychic or me- medium, think, a reader? Tarot reader. Reader, yeah. I think we'll tarot the reader. Uh, reader. <laughs> what, the, yeah. what she read about us. And mine, like, I'm such a skeptic when it comes to stuff, but it is fun. Like, it was it a fun, fun thing. Right. It was exactly. super I'm the fun. Same way. Yeah. I had a very good time with it. Yeah, you can't. It's like a magic show. You don't want to go in trying to tear it apart or yeah, like fucking yeah. try to ruin you uh, know, So what she it. said about me was I, I'm, like, equal parts risk taker and very stable, like, kind of just, like, like, stability was a big thing. And that is 100% right. Like, I do some risky, dumb shit that's all kind of calculated risks. Mm-hmm. So she was trying to, like, come to a conclusion, like, which way should you go? But she's like, I'm I'm so torn because you're so evenly these things. And I'm like, yeah, that's because I'm an adult that parties. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got a, I got a good credit score, but also yeah. <laughs> uh, have ran through – Several girlfriends over the past ten years, you know, it's a, there's a lot of things. The yin and the it's, yang. Yeah, that's it, balance is what mm-hmm. I call it. I have balance. You do have the balance. Yeah, and then for Tommy, what was your what was your like what was the prompt again that she asked you? Because oh, she asked each of us like. Well, she asked each of us for a question. Yes, because there's like different types of tarot. Yeah, like it doesn't. Not every single one would have asked us that. Like, right. had us ask that type of question. I think my question, the the question that I asked her is, uh, "Am I on the right?" It's similar to like kind of what we all asked. Yeah, like, we all if, really honestly yeah. kind of did. Yeah, like I was just like, "Am I on the right path?" Like, yeah. Am I am I doing the right thing like with my career? So just like listening, like from an outside perspective. Yeah. Do you ever, like, because I know you're happy in Cleveland, but, yeah. like, do you ever question, like, am I here? Like, am I happy here? Do I want to be leaving? Like, is that anything you've ever, like, I mean, struggled it, with? It's it's definitely something I struggled with way more in the past, but, like. But not right now. Not right now. Because that was I, supposed to be, like, that day. Because yeah. your tarot change, you could do yeah. your tarot every day. Right. Supposedly. And so oh. I like being in Cleveland a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I got a great support system here. I got a great fan base here. And also, the just the cost of living is fucking phenomenal right. mm-hmm. compared to, you know, I, I talked to my friends that live in L.A. and New York and what they, you know, they're, I, I have friends that have had, when they've had Comedy Central specials, like not a half hour, like a full hour, they still had roommates because mm-hmm. that's how expensive it yeah. is to be in New York. Yeah. And so I I have a good spot here and I, I like it there's for for me to go to new york or la it would have to be something they, they'd have to be offering me bags of money yeah i'm not gonna go there to try and make it i'll right. go there if they pay me to go there no you're set up here yeah Is there and a, I, I would yeah. i would not to cut you off no, go ahead. like i would argue you're probably better suited to quote unquote make it in New York or LA from here at this point. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And that's how I've that that's kind of what I've been trying to do this whole time is just like I I don't care if I'm the most famous person. I just want a comfortable, balanced life. Mm-hmm. And that's, you know, there are aspects of that that mean I'm gonna sacrifice certain opportunities or certain 
uh, you know, goals because it's very hard to do that from Cleveland. Mm -hmm. But in the end, I'm happy with the content that I put out. Uh, I, I, I've, you know, people want you to hit these certain marks where like you have Netflix specials and or what like you you've been on late night shows and those things have never been as important to me because the process is what I find incredibly fulfilling. Like that, that aspect of like, you know, putting out the specials that I put out or, or whatever, you know, having the success that I've had is, is good. But my favorite thing is where I'm at right now, where I'm working on all the material for this special. That's fun as fuck for me. Like mm -hmm. I, I get so excited when I find like a new wrinkle to make a joke pop harder and, and, uh, just creating material that I think is original and funny and and creative because there's a lot of material that I see out there that is uh, like I'm hypercritical of stand up and I see a lot of dog shit comedy out there. Oh, you could tell when you watch some comedy that's geared someone's making that comedy just because they want the Netflix special. Right. Yeah, you can't. Well, but it's it's not even just that. It's it's there's comedy that it, like I don't want to say lowbrow because it's all it's all hard. I'm not gonna say any of it's hard, but it's just. It's more geared to a certain demographic. And so, like, when I'm working with certain comics, I see that, where I see what their demographic laughs at, and if they don't like the material that I'm doing, it usually means that the, the person that they do like is doing some real, like, basic... Like, there's a lot of hacky shit out there that's that was not being done anymore because... It was so hacked that's getting churned back into comedy because it hasn't been done in 10, 15 years. Yeah, and people people aren't focused on but people, the joy yeah. of creating original stuff. Right. They're they're hooked on the I want the Netflix special, right. I want the multi picture deal, I want like these things. But the audience also like I'm thinking of it more from an audience point of view mm -hmm. where they they don't care about the originality as much as I do. I, that matters a lot to me. When I do a joke that I think is unoriginal, like I've had jokes that in my past that I was like, ugh, and people would laugh. I'm like, oh, why don't you do that joke anymore? I'm like, because I don't. It's it, it was too. It wasn't my thing. I like I like I like the material that I do, and I want them. And so when I work with a comedian like a Kyle Kinane, he has built a true comedy audience. Like that audience knows when they go see Kyle Kinane, they're going to see a master at comedy. Yep. And so those are, that's what I want to model myself after more than just somebody that can, you know, do, and, and, and I'm not taking anything away from Sebastian Maniscalco, but like his stuff is very targeted towards, I don't think it, it it's not my favorite thing. Like I watch Sebastian and he's funny, but it doesn't make me laugh the way Kyle does. And so they're both successful. Sebastian's way more successful, but that crowd, his crowd, wouldn't like me. They wouldn't. They that they're not comedy fans. They're Sebastian fans. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I mean, I think my point was, you have to be focused on what you're doing and not the rewards that may or may not wait for you. At right. The end exactly. Of the rainbow, you because know? that's a path to misery. Yeah. Exactly. And that's that's why I try to have that balance of yeah, I'm going to take some calculated risks. But I'm also going to be like stability is my my main thing overall. Like I want to make sure my bills are paid, my family's taken care of, uh, and and that I'm not miserable chasing these uh, goals that really I don't have control over. That's that's a better way of putting it. We're like, yeah, yeah who wouldn't want all those things? And right. you should you should want those. It's not unhealthy yeah. to to want that, but. It can't be the laser focus and the only thing on your mind all the time. Well, and, and also it, it, the people that go after that, because I I know the people that have had the success, but I know the people that have that laser focus and don't get it, and they're miserable. Yeah, they're it's, fucking miserable. It's it's and even the ones that have the success, you always have to keep topping yourself, mm -hmm. and then eventually everything comes down, and that that feeling is is not great. Yeah, it's it's just it's the kid playing high school football yeah. that's already thinking about getting the NFL deal. It's the fucking band in the garage yeah. that's thinking about getting the record deal and headlining yeah. Warped Tour before they've ever played a show. Right. All and I want to do is write the songs. 
Yeah. If you're focusing on like if that shit's meant to be and that shit falls into place yeah. for you, awesome. Or me or whoever, and like and awesome. The, but and it, the aspect of it too, and I was talking with someone about this, uh, is there's good comedians and then there's good marketers, and there's also some good comedians that are also good marketers. Yep. And marketing is not something I'm good at. Like I, I because I grew up kind of being like the guy that I mean, I'd likes argue, the I'd argue that, but I, I mean, I've gotten way better at it, yeah. And I, I understand that it's it's important, but it's not like anytime I have to like post anything or like market anything, like I fucking hate it. It, it, it it's well, that goes <laughs> back to having some integrity about what you're doing, right? It is at the end of the day, it's 2023, and everyone's a brand, and capitalism yeah. has devoured America alive. Yeah. And like, yeah, if you don't feel a twinge of like, ugh, when you fucking promote something, yeah. you're not a fucking human being. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So yeah, at least you gotta try to have some fun with it, but you know, mm-hmm. really fucking care. Oh no, no. I mean, oh no, I got a burp. Do it. Oh, oh you wanna hold it? it? You can do it. Uh, I we held it too long. It wasn't as nice as I thought it was gonna be. It's still good, and it. It's still recording, so Tommy, yes. you when you got your tarot card read, tarot cards read, uh, you were asking kind of the same thing, like, am I in the right place? Yeah, like- I, yeah, it, like, am I in the right? It wasn't the right path, but I think it was like the right it's, yeah. place or something like that. Am I, I forget how right I, I was a little bit yeah. drunk. I yeah. forget yeah. how I worded it. Uh, and but essentially, she said no. <laughs> yeah, she essentially answered my question with what I've been fucking torn with in my whole goddamn life. Right. Because I'm torn. And that is... Just, like, torn on just being, like, where I'm at in life. Like, what, like, literally, like, physically, like, Brandon and I have recently been talking about selling this house we've been in for, you know, less than two years. Mm -hmm. Because we're pissed off about it and we really just want to be in Lakewood. And then just, like, modeling stuff, OnlyFans stuff, just, are you kind of getting burned out on that, or are you no, just? I'm want not burned out. Okay. It's social media is so miserable, just and the, it's the frustrating marketing. It's very it. frustrating. Yeah. yeah, again, yeah, marketing is just yeah, the it's, worst. It's terrible yeah. for any kind of stuff like that. Well, I I shared uh, one of your latest posts to try and thank I'm like, you. Yeah, I'm gonna try and do that more and, and get, I appreciate uh, it. Yeah, she uh, said, me too. I try. You, you, I was gonna f- reply to it because he goes, "Tommy's the heart and the soul of the podcast." I go, "Heart and soul, huh?" <laughs> right. I, I, I get I'm the, I'm the new guy. Okay. All right, well, you're the tits and ass of the podcast. Thanks, and she's thanks. The heart right. Yes. Yes. Thank, yes. yes. thank you. Okay. You're the eye candy. She's the heart and soul. Thank you for she's, making me feel seen. Bro. Yeah. She's she's the voice of reason. <laughs> yeah, that's, I know that's right. Yeah. But yeah, no. She she just essentially validated the you need to figure out what's holding you back on multiple things. Mm-hmm. So I and mean, do you and have any idea what it is? Like what is holding you back or? Just I'm just very conflicted. I'm yeah. I've always been bad at like decision making, anyways. Mm-hmm. So, do you think it's kind of similar to what I was going through? What well, like maybe if you can lean more into the creative aspect of it and mm-hmm. not the results. Yes, yeah. that might help with some of those uh, conflicting feelings. Yeah, I think that's a good idea, yeah. and uh, that's one thing. It's just. I go through phrases mentally, but when you're not feeling very inspired, it's hard to be creative yeah, right. in that time and focusing on that. So, but that is something I'm trying to work on. Yeah. Is like being well, more and you do involved. a lot of like the, the, a lot of the stuff that you do is is very involved in, in what, and it is a little artsier than just like the girls that just bounce their tits on. Uh, Instagram and then and, and then like this is what we me and you always send each other like whenever we see something like how the fuck are they getting away with this yeah and you get shadow banned yeah and like that post c- that yeah. video that you shared yeah. that has me shadow banned right now yeah so, I I'm appealing it and some of them recently have been like reversing yeah but but it's still very it's very frustrating, frustrating. it's very defeating and yeah. it's like Jesus Christ mm-hmm. even Twitter I feel like. Is, the yeah. influx has been hard, and I don't know if it's just the app in itself. Well, I think it's just because people are using it. Less. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I know I keep forgetting because, like, I literally don't see the bird, so I'm like, "Where is Twitter?" Yeah, yeah. I keep forgetting <laughs> that stupid fucking X now. Yeah. So I'm just I'm uh, and so I think if you can focus on the creative aspects of it, and may, maybe this will be the time that there is a new 
like burge hopefully a mm -hmm. new uh do you still enjoy media? modeling like the actual process of modeling forget about the the, the promotion of it in the social media yes aspect. i do i do have fun and, and that's another issue like and it's totally unrelated and stuff but like the last ever since iceland i don't know if i've had a shoot actually go through like yeah. just constantly people needing to reschedule i need to reschedule yeah Stuff just doesn't work out, and, yeah. and that's nobody's fault, but that also adding to the defeated Instagram, social media I stuff, it's like I'm not even putting out new, material, more professional yeah. I think yeah. you material. just really need to take a really outside-of-the-box approach to how you promote yourself. Yeah. Like Marty. There it is. <laughs> the old money machine himself. Yeah. yeah, that's something. It's literally on my to do list of just. I don't have. I, I don't really have a solution yeah. there. No, just, no, no. Yeah, just kind of brainstorming that kind of stuff. But I mean, because the attention. It's not like the attention has gone away. It's going somewhere. It just doesn't exist towards Twitter and Instagram. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And where the hell is it? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's somewhere. I, it, yeah, somewhere. Yeah. It's well, we'll find it. It, there is a lot of attention on Instagram, but it is reels. Yeah. Like reels are. Um, That's something I'm trying to do yeah, a little so bit more do, of too. Do more reels. Do more TikToks. And like I like the like the the one of your biggest uh, videos is like you're not even showing anything really. Like the, is it the thigh one or yeah, whatever? Yeah, the, the sitting. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. like things like that, I think. Uh, and then you're in control. You don't have to do a shoot with other people yeah. and you can uh and it's like cutesy and, and kind of fun like you know in that that world of anime and uh that that you enjoy i think targeting that aspect might be uh helpful to build your following there mm -hmm. yeah for sure maybe twitch Ooh, Twitch. You That's be something. Twitch yeah. Like get into like live streaming and do like watch alongs. I'm I'm mm -hmm. so out of the of the loop of how any of that yeah. works, but that is definitely something you you have. I mean, I would I mean, have to fight something. You're I into could, gaming, yeah. like yeah. you. Eh, not, not 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 really. I mean, like Pokemon. Wink, wink. I mean, you're <laughs> I mean, you're into <laughs> gaming, right, Tommy? <laughs> <laughs> Just ninety eight percent of Twitch's yeah. audience apparently. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You'll figure yeah. it out. Yeah, I'm, I'm not worried. Yeah. I'm not worried for you. I think it's just you got to reframe how you're looking at it and get yeah. excited about a different Something. approach. Yeah, yeah. Sure. And I think like take this time to to find that approach and like yeah, maybe it is something on Twitch. Maybe it is uh, just doing more uh, TikTok lives mm -hmm. or Instagram lives and finding you know a way to engage with your audience right. through that because. Yeah. That's the thing too. Like, if I go on Instagram Live, I got a lot of followers, and they'll come on, they'll see me, and if I'm not really doing anything, they're in and out. Yeah, uh, you can hold their attention. <laughs> I, yeah, I guess maybe I don't know. So I think that that would I would uh, do Q and As and and do uh, or just like be like I'm going to talk about this today and and do some of those things. Like I, I think there's boxes. Or there's there's opportunities to do things and engage with your audience and uh, and and like build it up because then once you can directly talk to them, you can be like turn on notifications and engage with my stuff and you can kind of you like, motherfuckers yeah exactly I can be threatening yeah That's but what I'm but like do. when I'm you go live like if threaten. I threaten people they're like unfollow if you threaten they're like <laughs> oh, I'm so fucking hard right now. <laughs> So, <laughs> oh god, <laughs> what a time to be alive! Yeah, right. Right. All right, let's get into pants. Yeah. Uh, this is I saved you for last. <laughs> yeah. Reason. Oh well, yeah. I wonder oh, why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what was your question? I had. I mean, I. I don't remember. I mean, like. I know. Like, our all of our questions were, were essentially similar, the same, yeah. but. She, uh, but she kind of went on like this whole like, you gotta fix you before you can be with anybody. She gave else. me the fucking template talk a friend gives a, a dude after a breakup, and yeah. I just but was like, go ahead. Did Sorry. we bring up the breakup? No. Okay. No, yeah. she was. Yeah. She was. She she was on like look. I I think there's some value in Dotero stuff, and I'm not the guy that shows up to try to like. Yell how the magician's doing the tricks, right, type right, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was along for the ride. Yeah, we and she all was, were, and it was oh, fun. No, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I don't, and also because we had had some drinks, I gave her way too much money. Yeah, Bill. <laughs> also, like I, I, you know, 
I had had plenty of Fernet by the time her? I sat down. <laughs> What'd you say? What'd you give her? I actually I don't remember how much did you give. I her. give her forty. Okay, oh. I think it was like thirty five yeah. or something like I, that. I, what did I? I'll have. I, I was supposed to give her money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> I thought you. <laughs> you got it. Well, I thought Bill. And, I honestly and then, thought in that you case, got all I, of us. Yeah. Okay. We pay, We got you. And yeah, this is you. okay. Yeah. This is a great lead into what she was talking about. <laughs> how uh, how I made a point in my life where I'm focusing on the next steps. About I'm very money focused. I'm yeah. very focused on my business. Which like yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I I am. And then she just did the. You just need to focus on you. You need to be alone. You need to work yourself. And I'm like. She said you need to be alone a lot. She did. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I heard, yeah. you know. Um, <laughs> and I just was like, I am done working on myself. I like, I'm not saying it's a completed piece, but it's as close to, aside from needing to lose about 20 pounds, it's as worked on as it needs to be right now. But I don't think being alone necessarily means needing. Yeah, I'm not talking about on. needing a girlfriend or needing like company constantly, mm -hmm. but I'm just the. Uh, I'm not in the mental or emotional state where, like, I need to just quarantine myself. You know what I mean? Yeah, I've okay, been there yeah, plenty of times. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, you know, it's not like I was going to sit there. I was like, respectfully disagree, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. Because it's like, yeah, like, I like my solitude. I have, I've, Dude, I spend most too. of my life alone. Me so it's like, too. Like, yeah. and can we talk about solitude for a minute? And, like, when you get to a place where, you just are happy being alone because I feel like Tommy, you're you're alone a lot too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and because even like with you and Brandon being in the same house, I feel like you guys both give each other a ton of space. We do, yeah. Like the, we to work the point together. where when you guys were at that concert on Thursday, Brandon messaged me in pants like, "Hey, where's my wife?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be fair, my phone went straight to voicemail because there was terrible service. In yeah, there. well, because you were in the basement. I, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. exactly why. I, but and that's why I, like. Neither of you guys got the messages, and I did because I wasn't yeah. down in the basement. Yeah. Uh, but uh, solitude, solitude is, the is, shit. is the best, and like being able to sit in silence and just be able to go through your own thoughts and enjoy things on your own. Like it's such a underappreciated aspect of like a healthy life. Where I think there's so many people that they, they and I and I've definitely been this person in the past. Where like I was always around people, especially when you're a parent, like. The, the time that I had uh, when I was on the road, I appreciated it being alone. Uh, or when my kids would go to school and then my ex-wife would go to work and I'd have, like, the morning to myself. Like, that was my, my yeah, time. Yeah, well, for what you yeah. and I do, our yeah. jobs kind of require it. Yeah. You know? It requires it, but also, like, I also get a lot of uh, social time b because of my job. Like, doing comedy yep. and, and, and the radio stuff. So when I can just sit somewhere and not do things like it's it's so important to me or like do whatever i want and not like that's also a beautiful thing is not having to check in with people and just being like i went to pittsburgh yesterday to do a show and i was like i leave when i want i get back when i want if i wanted to stay and have you know just get a hotel for them i could have like it, it, oh i don't yeah i don't ever take that shit for granted i get it beautiful. that a lot of people don't have that luxury and it yeah. is a luxury but it's also yeah. like a necessary thing I need to do my job. Um, yeah. But no, like I just was, I agreed with her about the, yeah, I'm at a point I'm trying to make all these money things fit into place and stuff, but who isn't, you know? Yeah. And then the alone, the alone time thing, I'm like, I don't know how much, like I'm not dying to be with somebody, but yes, I don't need to like be uh, like uh, qu quarantined away from from like chained to a radiator somewhere like the wolf man but i also don't think she meant literally like isolate yourself maybe well, she just I, means I, like don't focus on i think it's more relationship based. Yeah, yeah not to shoot holes yeah. in what she was doing yeah. but i think it's just like she she's you're also throwing a lot of global type of exactly. things at people she yeah. she asked and us you're our, catch, yeah exactly, exactly. Catch. Some, yeah. something in your life i'm not calling, I'm not calling no. bullshit and, and when it's three drunk idiots they're like oh that's the one yeah. <laughs> how'd you know that how'd you know i want to do good things and then of course i think she knew i was a scorpio because who the fuck doesn't well she asked us oh yeah okay well that's well, how she, no, she, that's how she, she i mean that's, she knew he was a scorpio yeah, because she, he she was oh at his bar where there's scorpions everywhere but that's and I never put that together because I, I don't. But think that's of that not stuff. the reason for that. But that yeah. is, I guess it it does subliminally, I guess subconsciously, yeah. is a thing. Um, 
but yeah I, I don't know um it was it was, it was a very good attraction and feature of the night and i feel bad well i mean i ended up paying her because she was i'm the owner of the bar that paid her but yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, my, my apologies is is i probably should send her a message i thought you paid for everybody no, I think we were just all like tarot right readings on me. That's okay. Okay, I'll whatever. I gave her forty bucks. She's good. They and left. Tommy, like, you were thirty-five. Get, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not to get in their business. Like they all left without getting paid. Like yeah. we had the money, and like little kids in a band. I think that didn't know they were supposed to get paid. Yeah, they just took off. Yeah. Aww. So the next day, and my manager hit me up. He goes, "Hey, he's like, um, they didn't get paid." I go. Like they didn't get paid because we didn't pay them, or they just took off. Yeah, they go. They just left. <laughs> That's like they yeah. just they were gone. They're, well, they're also uh, everybody partying. was kind of partying. Everyone was partying that night. It was a great yeah. time. No, I mean, I, um, and it is and a bummer. long story short. They did get paid. There was there yeah. was money waiting for them in the cash. Yeah, drawer. Uh, yeah. it is it is a bummer that that very fun night was tainted by the broken door. Uh, but I will say that AJ's Photoshop. Oh of, my god. Uh, <laughs> Exquisite. Shining, was so fucking funny. Oh, dude, it was, it was so like, it, it, yeah, that sucks. But that's the cost of doing business in a gentrified urban neighborhood. Is right. you're gonna, you're gonna run the shit happens. Like that. Um, and then it was like a good opportunity for me to sit there and watch the first quarter of the Browns game while the door guy was fixing the door. So. Yeah, mm-hmm. but it was fine. Like they didn't yeah. break in. They didn't get anything. It's it's not even the first time we've had our shit smashed out there in the four yeah. months we've been open. Right. Um, but a very successful weekend, a very successful night. Mm-hmm. And uh, also, let's. I would uh, I would like to be a guest star on. Uh, no, that's what I call alcohol. Okay. I would love. I would. You love want, that. Would you like to? <laughs> I gotta. We gotta figure out how to write that one in, but I don't see why not. I th- I figure maybe we can make it a special episode closer to the uh, release or not the release of recording. And promote the uh, after party at Old Eighty Six. That's a fantastic fucking idea. So yeah. we'll we'll put that on the books. Yeah, I make mean, we a, have a drink named it. after you. Yeah, can we do a, three drinks up after each one of us on the podcast? I mean, I would. That's so many drinks. Yeah, I, I think let's do. <laughs> oh, okay, the Bill well, Squire show drink. Yeah, let's yes, the Bill yes. Squire <laughs> drink for for your show. I think is what makes yeah. sense. And then we'll Ooh, we'll, we'll talk more about be. that off the air. But uh, I think but it's a great also, idea. <laughs> It won't be the peacemaker, but I was at uh, High and Dry the other night. I found the bottle oh my of Jameson God. that we killed, <laughs> that we signed when we made the peacemaker two years ago. Uh, I shouldn't and, even be alive. Yeah. I was so confused because uh, clearly I wasn't there. Yeah. And I in that night you said, no, I'm staying in. And yeah. I'm like, damn, did Pants just like get out and go back out with Bill? Peacemaker. No, no, so the, so the oh, peacemaker. Oh, no, no, when he sent you. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so this is what the Peacemaker was, and it's on my Instagram somewhere, like oh. way back. Uh, we just randomly poured stuff into a glass. It was like Miller High Life, whiskey, uh, a White Claw. I, I can't remember what, like... I think some tequila. Yeah, it just was. It was just anything that was. It was what drunk assholes with yeah. a video camera on them make to drink. Yeah, and I call uh, it the peacemaker. Good name though. Uh, yeah. And uh, we drank it, and it ended up being not terrible. I remember that. Yeah, because I wasn't. We weren't that wasted, but I was like, "This is. I'm not. I'm not barfing this up." But, <laughs> right. You know. But it was a. Uh, yeah, it was that was a fun night, and I was I was at the the bar sitting next to our friend Brittany, and. I kept like I'm like I think that's my name on there, and I was like, well, did oh, it all shit. come back to you? Yeah, I, like, <laughs> I forgot completely about that because obviously we, we drank a weird concoction of alcohol that night, but it was, uh, yeah. That's so, funny. ooh yeah, now that's what I call alcohol. Yeah, they got the Bill chills Squire running episode. up the back of my neck thinking about that one. Yeah, <laughs> but we'll come up with something far more palatable for you for Absolutely. the after party. Yeah, but you got the high and horny going on right now. Got the high and horny com- combo for five bucks, which is uh, a uh, high life shot of hornitos and a bottle of high life, which is a, an amazing deal uh, for five fucking for five dollars. Bucks, dude, it's insane. I mean, I don't. I think there's bars in town that charge five bucks for a fucking high life on its own. Right, You're right, yeah. and yeah. that's what I'm saying. Well, like, I want to get these. No, we. Out there. I know I, this is not coming out for another week. Is that going to be? That's just no. Lot? That's not a limited. That's that's in that's perpetuity? just the, the that's oh. that's our deal. You go in there I any day of the that. week, order it. We we we've been playing around with a lot of things just because it's like we're like kind of still trying to figure out stuff. But mm-hmm. then I think what we keep coming back to is like we're a shot in a beer bar. Yeah. Here's a shot. Here's a beer. 
Uh, it's fucking super expensive to be alive right now, so this is what, you yeah. know, we're not a cocktail bar. Yeah. yeah. But you guys all do, did come up with a cocktail. $6 cocktail, we'll do that all day long. Yeah. No, set, not, you know, no sentence name cocktails, no $17 cocktails. It's yeah. a $6 cocktail. You get a fucking 8% ABV, killer hard tea, deep eddy, sweet tea vodka, uh, lemonade, and three olives vanilla, I believe, too. It's very good. It's called You're a Lemony Finish. Mm-hmm. Six bucks. Love it. That's that's what that's what we are. That's what we do. That's what we fill the bar up with is people that appreciate a deal and aren't in the mood to be snobs about it. I love your bar so I much. I know. I'm very proud of it. I'm I'm It's my face. I for however many years I've shaved off my life to open it. It's, it's worth well it. Well worth every one of them. You don't need to be alive that much longer. I don't. <laughs> if, I see, if I see 50, it's going to be a nah, fucking dude, bonus. We're going right, to you know. be early 70s. That's when we're going to cack out. Sure. <laughs> that's a, good, that's a sure. good run, man. That's a good run. <laughs> yeah, back on Tinder in Tommy, my 70s. Tommy, you're going to make it to 120. I'm terrified to die. We're in a simulation, so I'm not dying. <laughs> I, I've been thinking about that a lot lately. Where I, I, sorry, I, but I think about it often. It's okay. I, I think about it too, where I'm just like, but where did it all start? Like, even like the big bang theory you go okay there's all this shit but where's that shit come from before then so like then you just it like, makes more sense than god it makes more That's sense totally than god but it still makes no fucking sense <laughs> i know none of it makes any goddamn sense it no i mean it's crazy. the god came from the idea that there is a unifying singular force that created everything because mm. i don't care how fucking scientific you are something, something. came before all of this even right. if it's yeah. a fucking black hole of nothing mm-hmm. that's not nothing that's yeah. a th- that's, something yeah. so i don't know yeah. you know and I'm, I'm i know enough to know that i don't know don't know so enjoy my time here and i i keep getting a lot of people that are religious because i've been posting like i posted my joke about white church and black church and i get people like uh, about the stealing from the lady that i work with like from her office to take her food and so i got a lot of religious comments that are like well you'll be sorry when you're burning in hell and i'm like i'll, I'll be fine <laughs> like I, I don't care like like that makes I, you feel better that doesn't make I, me know, feel scared i've been on the internet for 25 years and i was always like able to ignore idiots and then i just hit a corner the other day where oh I was yeah like, i know you've been clapping uh, well for on because i handle old 86's customer service right yeah. you know social media yeah. so it's like the, the, if i just decided to set the precedent that like if you say dumb shit to me i'll say Dumb shit, shit back. Yeah, I was no. like, if you want to be a dumbass to me, I'm gonna talk to you like a dumbass. Yeah, I love it. And then it's like that's because we're not fucking marble room across the street. Right. Or, yeah. Yeah. You're not, you're not trying to accommodate dumbasses. It's you're like yeah. To, it's like it, we're not that kind of dumbass. And then I, and then I was doing. It, I go. I go. I could have been doing this the whole time. This is so fun. I was like, so like <laughs> so so like this is so freeing. It's so cathartic. <laughs> All right. That we'll call it an episode. Uh, thank you guys for checking out this week's episode. Uh, get tickets for the comedy special taping on December 22nd at the Agora, agoracleveland.com. Follow Tommy. Tommy LC on everything, please. Uh, there we go. Pants. That's uh, not me. That old good. 86 bar on, uh, on Instagram. Instagram. And uh, I mean, we're on it. we're on all socials as old 86 bar as much as I didn't want to fucking do it. But yeah, too. old 86 yeah. bar on all socials. Okay, pants on all on all socials. Yep. And uh, we will see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.